it is the first climate emission of human development into the Earth's atmosphere. Nature balances itself but when we start consuming natural resources the natural balance becomes unbalanced so that today people all over the earth are facing the effects of climate without directly knowing it. It is the need of the day for all countrymen to unite. This is not yours, not mine, this is the problem of the people of the whole earth. So together we can reduce the impact of climate on nature. Different regions of the world have been collecting and saving a lot of data for many years. When that collected data is transferred or provided to people. Everyone is convinced that the earth can be made habitable. We all have a responsibility towards our motherland earth. We all love development and evaluation comes with responsibility so that we can responsibly and peacefully develop the areas we have left for development. All of us born in this world need peace and development to move forward. Please help by addressing the comments I made. We all live on earth we need to do and we do it individually, what do we do by ourselves? We all don't think my life has any limits. When I look at the picture of the whole earth there are no lines, no boundaries. We are all born, live and die here. I think life has no limits we need to live life to the fullest. See a connected world in the open sky without borders. There is no limit here, we make everything here ourselves, so there is no theft, here there is no limit even in the open sky, there is no limit even under the sky. I don't need to get into political issues but everyone has freedom of opinion. In my opinion, I am also free, but it does not mean that there is freedom. The world community has also started talking about borderless politics. When problems begin to arise in the universe, none of the problems are confined to man-made boundaries. So, when trouble starts, it affects everyone who lives between the borders. So there are many problems in the world today. Among those common problems are global water climate change, food shortages, droughts, human life and wildlife problems in the region. Various countries, organizations and individuals around the world are ready to reduce the risk to plants, animals and humans from its effects. We are all doing the same thing for the world, for life, for peace, for the future. It makes our life meaningful, when we think about the future, peace and life beyond the limits of what we are, life becomes meaningful and important. A perfect life on earth is important. Losing one in nature is a great loss. It all means, what problems we are facing all over the world today. All these are the result of our system development. Limited resources and their high consumption have led to climate change on our planet. Today, we humans are so evolved that we can imagine a bright and beautiful peaceful future by solving these world problems. I was born in the corner of Mother Earth at the turn of the century. But I live for the world, for life, for peace, for a bright human future. I am a graduate student in Nepal. I am trying to control and minimize this world's biggest disaster climate change effect. Currently, there are many problems in our world such as climate change, drought, reduction in production, lack of food, and decline in human health. To solve this problem around us we must try to balance water and air. Today we are trying to mitigate many of the conditions in our world system such as global temperature change, drought, reduction in food production, lack of availability, environmental change, deterioration in public health, etc. We are trying to reduce and control the world's biggest disaster climate change impact. In an attempt to solve these difficult situations, new solutions have come up. Let's all help to make this work success.